NFC Championship, the Eagles hosting the 49ers, and the Eagles are two and a half point favorites. The over-under is at 45 and a half. The Niners are plus 130 on the money line, and the Eagles are minus 155. Now, the Eagles come into this game winning the last game that they played, and the 49ers come into this game winning the last three games that they have played. Now, when we get into the individual stats, Head-to-head, -head, the road team is on a two-game winning streak. The road team is 6-3 and three in their nine meetings against each other. The under has hit in their last four games. The under is 5-4. and four. The favorite is 6-3 and three against the spread and 6-3 and three on the money line. The over, 45.5, uh, is 5-4. and four, And the Eagles are 6-3 and three against the Niners in their nine meetings. Now, that's how they've done head-to-head. -head. Now, overall, in their last handful of games... The 49ers have covered their last three games, and they've covered nine out of their last 10 games. So they are 9-1 and one against the spread in their last 10 meetings, while the Eagles covered the last game that they played, and they've only covered four out of their last 10 games. So the underdog has covered more games. Now, four out of the last five games that the 49ers have played have gone over, while four out of the last five games that the Eagles have played have gone under. And their last three games have gone all under in the Eagles games. So there's some food for thought when these teams play each other. Now, in their last handful of games, the Niners have had 31 points, 65 points, 51 points, and 61 points. <laughs> and the Eagles have had 45, 38, 30, and 74. I think the Niners are going to upset the Eagles. I don't know why. I'm going to take the 49ers with the money line. I'm going to take the 49ers getting the points. I will go over in this game because seemingly I think both of these teams will have to put up some points. And in the beginning of the game, that's what we're going to see. And 45 and a half isn't very high. If it goes 27-20, the game goes over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.